some families they don't have as much as much as other families do. So this really helps people to get like food to eat to help survive in this harsh world. Yeah, Martha's Table is a nonprofit organization. Uh, we've been in the community for 33 years, and essentially, we believe that everyone deserves both dignity and opportunity. And we do that. Um, we we operate our programs um, in three different ways: through affordable clothing, uh, quality education, and healthy food. So the food program here at Martha's Table operates Monday through Sunday. Uh, we have volunteers come from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. to help prepare meals. Um, and then we have another group of volunteers that come from 4.45 to 6.30 to help distribute the meals. We serve about 150 to 250 people every single day. And we couldn't be able to do that without the help of volunteers throughout the day. Food Table downstairs supplement the uh, nutritional values that they try to instill. And uh, the emphasis is fruits and vegetables. And as a parent, I can come to appreciate it because no matter how much assistance you get, fruits fresh fruits and vegetables are extremely expensive so I can appreciate how um, Martha's Table brings us the farmers market experience the kids get to shop I get to I get to pick up and then you know when we get home everybody's so excited and the best part is it didn't break our pockets I've learned to steam vegetables I've learned to bake and broil and I've also learned to switch up on my portion sizes it takes a village to raise to raise a family so I'm kind of happy with this newfound village all right, all right. No more call to war Unless it's love and peace that we're really fighting for We can destroy hunger We can conquer hate Put down the arms and raise your voice We're joining hands today oh, I was looking for a song to sing I searched for the leader
when you don't cry, that's a bad thing. City for one of them and I went to South Carolina for another. And for the majority of other service projects I've done, I've always been working with my hands, doing tangible things, whether it be painting, fixing holes in walls, building a porch, building a roof. And with those, you have tangible results. You have something that you see you made a marketable difference in someone's life. And so this is definitely a different step from that because I'm going to say I wasn't surprised by what I saw. This is something I expected. This is something I knew was going to be here but trying to see that I'm not going to be able to build something for somebody. How am I going to be making a difference? And how I've rationalized and how I've justified it to myself is that I'm creating some increase in aggregate happiness that in some little way, I'm making someone's day better, whether it be a coach, whether it be uh, someone who works at the shelter, whether it be someone who works with Marcus, uh, Marcus Table, or just someone who's going to be eating a meal. I'm making someone's day a little bit better. And if we can all do that, as we all have been doing that, then we've just made the city a little bit happier. And so that's something that I really have been taking as far as the perspective for this trip. And it's just been so nice getting to work with all of you guys and just enjoy everyone's company and have a good time. Hi, I'm Mary. I'm a senior. I'm from Brooklyn. I've been living here with Coach Rose. And um, this is my fifth alternative break. Woo! <laughs> and uh, the reason why I'm on this trip is because I'll go on any service trip that has to do with service. Um, and yeah. Um, being from the city, I guess, not the city, but the boroughs, homelessness is something that I see a lot. Um, I take trains every day, and that's where a lot of the New York City homeless population happens to be. Um, but with taking the trains, not only do you see homeless people, but you see the reactions that people have to homeless people. And for me, I think that breaks my heart more than actually seeing a person. Um, because there's nothing worse than getting on the train and everyone just scurries off because they know a homeless person is on that train or you know you just hear like people going like what's that smell and it's like well it's you know they don't have shower and you do so shut your mouth kind of thing so to me um, this trip is like all the rest that I've been on have been like Jay said like doing things with my hands and ha hard work and stuff but uh, this one is equally as important because you're not ignoring them. You're you're seeing them, and you're. It's important to see them, and you're helping them. And I think that's just as important as anything else. Say hi. 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 I want to say hi. hi. <laughs> This life is one act, why do we lay all these traps? We put them right in our pack, when we just want to be free. I will not waste my days making up all kinds of ways to worry about all the things that will not happen to me. So I just let go of what I know I don't know, and I know.
Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? 